What is going on guys, it's Chu here bringing you another review on Attack on Titan. This episode by far has been one of my favorite, I want to say easily top 5 of the season. Simply because it has been an episode where a lot of unanswered questions, tension, anger, frustration, all kinds of emotions were just let loose here. And one of the things, one of the best lines in this episode is, we haven't even sat down to talk about it yet. <laughs> what a great line. But guys, let's get into it. So, we start off with Hanji. This is kind of like a mini flashback to catch us up on how this alliance formed. But Hanji knocks on Jean's window, and she talks to both Mikasa and Jean, and some heavy, heavy foreshadowing for those that don't pick up on for Hanji she's like she even talks about how she was scared how she willing to, was willing to run away and how Aaron's plan for genocide is just wrong it's not something that should be ever done and quite honestly it, it's true genocide is never the answer for anything and quite honestly um, I hate that mentality uh, but the alliance is formed we actually see them all there. Uh, we have all kinds of people there. I want to say that this has been maybe the most intense campfire stew session uh, ever in any situation. I mean, we have Reiner, Annie, Gabby, Falco, Magath, Oyankapo, Yelena, Han Hanji, Levi asleep. We have Levi. We have freaking Levi. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We have John. We have we have Armin. We have Connie. We have Mikasa. We have Levi. <laughs> I'm just messing. Honestly, it was all kinds. Oh, and Peak, of course. How can I forget Peak? Uh, we have all of them. Former enemies. Still enemies. Now allies. In order to get this plan going. Everyone spilling tea. Everyone letting it go. We see Magath calling them devils. How like, yeah, you act like them. And how John, being the most emotional of them all, really having the most, I guess, pent up aggression towards the situation. Had he stayed, he would have been able to have had what he was dreaming of in the very beginning of the episode. He could have had that wife, that child, that that place that he wanted to be basically lazy at. It was just everything he would have wanted he could have just had if he had just stayed but in the end he ends up showing his loyalty to hanji and to his friends and here we are we also get to see uh, annie and mikasa face off nothing comes of it but i gotta say that both of them have one of the strongest resolves annie is honest now she actually says that she has someone she wants to protect and that's her father back home and for Mikasa, she doesn't want to kill Eren. She doesn't want to have this happen. But Annie asks the important questions. You know, what happens if he doesn't want to talk? What will come of it? Honestly, these are tough questions. But Annie asks them. And both of them are were ready to engage. But Annie knows better. And she will never answer the question that we all have. Is Mikasa or Annie stronger? We'll never know. They both have advantages, and it's just really hard. But they back off. They 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 choose not to fight. They continue their eating, and we find Yelena uh, finally starting to speak. We find out the truth about her. She is actually a Marleyan who was in a good family. She actually had a good family. She didn't have any issues. However, whenever she met Zeke, everything changed. She became more of a devotee to him. And then from then on, she fabricated a story that became her truth. And we hear Peek and Magoth calling her out on it. Ayankapo even being surprised about this. And we then go back to Jean and Reiner and the truth about Marco. Annie intervenes as well, but Reiner takes the fall to the point to where Jean goes berserk when he continues talking he's like that's enough that's enough and then he goes at it and goes right for reiner reiner who really has lost the will to just do anything he's just here to stick it out 
he ends up getting beat up by Reiner, I mean, excuse me, by Jean, and we have Gabby trying to protect Reiner, but gets kicked in the process, and Jean, realizing what he's done, backs off, but the damage is already done, really, and really, it was just so intense to see these guys, all of them sitting together and just having this, ah, man, it was really, truly quite the scene. I think that they did this perfectly. I enjoyed this episode. And, you know, he walks off. John walks off. And Gabby thinks that even after he, her and Falco are begging for the help, you know, they think that he's gone. But the following morning, they start going out. They actually continue on with their journey. And they're all there. It's all, it's kind of interesting how, uh, John just goes like, I, I'm not going to apologize for what I did to you. So he's like, that's fine. You know, whatever. And Annie's like, well, what about me? It's like, he doesn't even address it. But it's sad though, you know. A lot of this stuff could have been avoided if they had talked about it. And like I said, that was the line that John even said. Like, we didn't even get a chance to talk about things. It could have been different. That's what Marco even said before being killed crazy stuff man a crazy episode but now trouble a bruise as the jaegerists are taking over the azam benito so we shall see what happens with them take care guys and i'll talk to you later